This is a quick video on how to download tutorials from lynda.com. Firstly, you're going to need a lynda.com account. Then, once you've signed up, you can access the courses and you'll be able to download them from there. We'll just go across to lynda.com. Okay, once you've signed into lynda.com, you can find whatever course it is that you want then you can download it. Now there's a few different ways to download the course. One of the ways is you can be a full premium member, that's 12 months subscription, and then you have the option here to download courses. If you're not, then you'll get the notice to upgrade. The second way you can download a video is to click play on the video, and then right click on the video and save video as. This will download it to your computer and you can save it to wherever is, is handy for you. But this can be quite cumbersome doing this because you need to go through each one of these, right click, each one of these, right click. And if it's a long course, you know, you can get distracted or called away from your PC, then it's a problem maybe remembering where you're up to and multiple downloading. I like to use a third method, which is quite easy and keeps it quite organized for me. Using Video Downloader Pro, and for Video Downloader Pro, all you need to do is, once the video is playing, just click Next Video, Next Video, and as you can see up here, they're all collecting uh, the URLs here. So again, Next, 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 Next. And you can do this quite quickly, just running through each one. And Another powerful feature within you'll find the as you go, you're collecting the URLs. Another feature so you, you see what's happening here. And all you need to do then is once you've got through your whole course, no matter how long, short or long it is, then you can go ahead and open up here. And each one of the video URLs are catalogued neatly here. The reason I do this is simply because I only need to get one or two courses. I don't need to have a, a year-long subscription to Linda, but I don't want to be sitting on here all day either. This is just a handy way where I can watch it when I want, as I want. Uh, so the next part of doing this is now that you've got your Linda account, you're using Video Downloader Pro, uh, which you can get from uh, the Chrome store, which I'll have the links for to all these different resources. Then you can go ahead and just click these. What I like to do is start from the bottom. Just, just open these up. Each one like that. And then just work my way down the list. And click downloading. And all these are now downloading. Nice and easy. And that's pretty much how you get a course. And just make sure I've got all those. Um, if I don't, these will be highlighted solid blue. So I have all those. As you can see, they're just dropping in one at a time, downloading quite quickly. And once that's done, then we can go on to the next part. I just paused there for a moment so I could go ahead and download the rest of the um, the videos in that in that course and one thing I just want to make sure you understood is as you go through each one just click until you get to conclusion once you get to conclusion then you'll have the, the full set of uh, the videos I'll go ahead and just pause once again until I've finished downloading these and then I'll show you how to put them together in one video file okay all our videos have now downloaded so the next thing we want to do is create folder where we can move them to we can have that uh, for the purposes of editing into one video or multiple videos if you wanted to to join these into chapters so to speak so what I like to do is just take the name of the video here copy that and then in a folder that you've created just go ahead and create a new folder paste that and that's good next thing we're going to do is just quite simply show in 
folder here where we've got our downloaded video files. We'll just go ahead and cut those out of there. So we'll just go and shift and select all those. Then we can just wait for these to load through. Go ahead, cut those. Then we can put them into our folder here. Right. The next step is to just join, make sure you don't have any duplicates there. That would be not good. So we just delete that. So, okay, that looks good. The next step we're going to do now is to just make one video out of all these. The easiest way I like to do this because I can also add some annotations or you know breaks in the video is using a program called Camtasia. Uh, you can get a free 30 day trial here on TechSmith. Pretty sure it's a 30 day trial. Anyway, it's a free trial. It'll allow you long enough to go ahead and, and do what we're going to do now. So it's the URL will be in the video notes and you can download it from TechSmith for free and you'll be able to use it fully functional and go ahead and do this. So the next thing we're going to do there is just open up Camtasia Studio and then we'll be editing from there. Okay, once Camtasia opens up for you, just open up your folder select all your videos there and simply drag them into Camtasia. Camtasia will populate them and it will also order them in sequence as well and produce a timeline in sequence. Okay now all our videos have dropped in what you need to do here is bring them down to the track one so we're just going to highlight all those with control A and just drag them down to track one. Then you'll see they populate perfectly in to the conclusion. So the conclusion is one at the, the very end. Okay, uh, first thing we need to just sort out uh, the dimensions. So the easiest way to do it, I find, is to go to recording dimensions. That way it keeps it as it was meant to be viewed. Okay, so click OK. You should at the very start they have welcome which is our first one and now that lays it in perfectly if you wanted to then you can go ahead and add in annotations that sort of thing or notes for your VAs or whoever it is that you're you're doing this for during the video next thing you need to do then is then to just produce and share by clicking this top button here so click produce and share and you want to go this drop down menu and click custom production settings click next and make sure you've got mp4 flash html player uh, selected click next again all you need to do here is produce with controller uncheck that because you only need the, the mp4 file click next click next then just put in the video whatever you want there and then select the output folder click save and click finish and that'll go ahead and render so I'll just pause the video here for now okay the production is completed and when it's done you'll get the production results that it's gone through you can click finish and also it automatically loads the video that's just been done so you can check the proof on it and make sure that it's um, it's it's nice quality so I'll bring that up let's give it a quick play and expand I'm it Brad Batesel and welcome to advanced Facebook advertising in this course we'll take an in-depth look at how to go beyond the basics of creating an so as you can see the quality is really good and it's full screen as it was intended and that's pretty much it uh, all you need to do to produce a nice quality video and just one more thing just to show you that that is now just one continuous clip 
Okay, so that's how you do that. And if you have any questions, please leave them at the bottom. I'll answer them. Yeah, that's just the one way that I like to do it, just to keep it nice and clean and easy. And we're done. And that's how you download a course from lynda.com and turn it into one nice, neat tutorial. Cheers. Thanks for watching.